50 Secrets and Easter Eggs in Fortnite Chapter 5. Snooty Steps is now the home of Peter Griffin. He lives in this heavily guarded mansion, and there are plenty of hilarious secrets because of that. The first one is outside where you'll find this flag, and honestly, it should be the official flag of Chapter 5. But the best Easter egg is in the town where the fountain is Peter Griffin as an angel. What is going on? When I first heard about the Grand Glacier, it sounded way too familiar. Creepy hotel, abandoned in the snowy mountains, reminds me of the Overlook from The Shining. Well, I guess the developers also thought that, because if you head into the hotel's maze, you'll find a statue buried in snow with an axe next to him. Yeah, it's a family-friendly version of The Shining's ending, where Jack freezes to death in the maze while holding his axe. For an Easter egg a little less freaky, head south of the map where you'll find an island that creates a love heart bridge. It's adorable, but also sets the seed for a perfect wedding venue, and that's exactly what the stone frogs are looking for. Just across, you can find a wedding ceremony happening between two frogs Aww. in love. And all I'm saying is, we need more wholesome secrets. And that's exactly what we're getting because there's a whole island full of them. At the northeast part of the map, you'll find this small chunk of land. It's covered top to bottom in secrets, like a buried tomato head, Meowth's ball of yarn, Sky's poster board, there's tons of callbacks to previous seasons. Now, one of the longest running gags has been the lack of family guy in Fortnite. And two years ago, this image was leaked showing an entire scene from the show with the blood cut out. It definitely wasn't a troll because there was too much effort. And yet, time passed with no news. After so long, we all gave up. But now that Chapter 5 dropped Peter, Epic made sure to troll us one last time with that same secret backlink playing the scene from all of those years ago. Things get real sinister when you think of Peely, as we learned in the Big Bang event, he is currently missing from the poster. A major part of this season's story is how Peely has been kidnapped and Jones is on a mission to save him. Well, it looks like his captors are not messing around. If you head to the motel near Grand Glacier, one of the rooms shows this banana peel and a chair. Looks like they held him hostage here before moving on, which is a little messed up for Night Sheesh. But it didn't stop there. If you try and equip Peely this season, his icon has been secretly updated. Right there in the locker, his missing poster appears. The first time they've ever done this for the story. I forgive him though, because we could finally label our own guns in Chapter 5. Yeah, if you upgrade your weapon at a vault workbench, it'll be handed back with a new name. Congrats, you officially own that gun, so now your teammates can prove you stole their stuff, you loot goblin. One of the best callbacks of this season includes a fan favorite POI returning. If you played in Chapter 2, you'll remember the yacht. Well, it's back and currently docked on the very left of the island. Just like the previous version, it's also named Marigold, but this has a new paint job given by the society. If you're wondering, these are the guys who kidnapped Peely, and their logo has the community in a frenzy. It's two hands and an eye, a pretty standard design for a secret agency, but the gold color reminds players of Midas, and they are convinced he is the leader. One of the coolest parts of the LEGO collab is how you can use any of the skins in your locker with the mode. As long as it's not a crossover skin, basically anything works, and they even ported a few pages of the emotes over, like Sharpshooter, where you use your finger guns. Only one problem, LEGO characters don't have fingers, so they use bananas instead. And when it comes to emotes like the Sea Shanty, Epic actually actually got the lip sync to work. Their hopes were high for a win that day. Go me squatty boys go. In fact, when you leave the lobby, it even plays the classic Lego death sound. The amount of detail in Chapter 5 is insane. Of course, everyone's been freaking out over the new train feature, but this gets better. Head to a station, and if you're wondering when the next train is gonna show up, it tells you. There's a timer at every stop, counting down until the exact second your train will appear. And thanks to this, we also know it takes nine minutes just to circle the map once. One of my favorite secrets, though, is hiding in plain sight. On the first page of the Battle Pass, you'll find this banner. It belongs to Hope, and seems like a regular old cat, right? Well, it's actually a reference to this iconic meme from last year. Not the the adorable creature hidden in Chapter 5, as you explore the island, you might come across the return of Coral Buddies. They've taken the game by storm over the last few years and are here once again to entertain us. In fact, the Islanders love them so much, they even made a movie. At Ruin Reels, you'll find this poster for Revenge of the Coral Buddies. Now, that is a film I'm gonna see. Well, actually, there's a bigger franchise on the horizon and Fortnite is already secretly teasing it. Right now, this hidden sewer room is pretty empty, but over the coming weeks, it'll transform into a lair for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In fact, during the cinematic trailer, you can see a spray on the wall confirming this theory. The turtles are coming to Fortnite. But no one is talking about one of the most underrated changes of Chapter 5. Llamas are officially back to normal. With Fortnite OG, they removed the ones that would come to life and run away from you. It was so refreshing that Epic decided to keep this feature around. Finally, you can let out that sigh of relief now because we don't have to chase llamas anymore. And so you might be wondering, what happened to Peter Griffin? Why is he so swole now? Well, Fortnite has made a short video explaining exactly what happened. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's be honest, the true secret is getting exercise, and you can do just that in the hidden soccer field. It's near the Yacht POI and lets you play soccer with your friends on the beach. Not to mention, those Christmas lights are secretly grind rails for extra fun. I've told you about all the stuff you can do in Chapter 5, it's crazy, and that's why everyone was shocked to learn what you can't do. It's official, you cannot gritty as a Lego character. Great, immerse you ruined, thanks Fortnite. <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, there is a pretty awesome easter egg hiding in Grand Glacier. Explore the interior of the hotel and you'll find a ton of oil paintings that hold a secret backstory. This one is my favorite, it shows a medieval town, but if you look closer, it's the homeworld of Princess Fishstick, and this painting shows a croissant with googly eyes. Well, it turns out that's actually an unreleased backbling called Sir Burr, which was supposed to release five months ago. Not the only cool detail hidden around the map, there is one house full of easter eggs. In the very north of the island, there's a house called Cloister Castle. Seems pretty creepy, but headed inside and you'll find the home of a chapter 4 enthusiast. The whole place is filled with memorabilia like splits bowl, gongs, and even the Peace Syndicate's arcade machine. Keep exploring into the fields and you'll probably find one of these windmills. They are brand new to the game, but there's a hidden joke if you find all of them. The first one is called the Old Mill, pretty normal, until you find the other windmill. Alright, I guess they couldn't think of another name, but just wait until you find the other other windmill. Okay, I gotta admit, it's a pretty good joke, but it makes me wonder if there's one hidden in the new idol animations. If you stand still for long enough, your character gets bored, checks out their weapon, or even cracks their neck, there's a ton of them, and I wonder if there's any super rare animations with like a 1% chance. But I'm pretty confident there's a 0% chance of finding Spillex on this island. They have ruled Fortnite's power supply for years, at every fuel station, and even with their own oil rig. But now, after all this time, they have finally changed. The company is now Pump and Run, which is honestly refreshing to see because this is an homage to passing gas from Chapter 1. Not to mention, these guys take car payments at pumps and vending machines now, so they're definitely up to date, except for the prices. I wish they were this low in real life. One change that we'll all use involves revives. These have hardly been touched since release, but now Epic have made it even easier to use. If you walk away from a revive or accidentally cancel it, the timer won't just end, it'll save your progress instead. In fact, the changes include reboot vans. If you eliminate a person using it, you can take over to reboot your own teammate with their progress. Now that's gotta hurt. That's not the only cool update, there's also some brand new pickaxe animations for the duelist foil. It uses stabbing movements like a sword of fencing, which makes perfect sense for Nisha's character. Hopefully, we'll even get it updated for some older swords like Duelist Grace. Another pickaxe you can earn completely free is from Reboot Rally. Now, you might be thinking we just had one, and you aren't wrong, but Epic is already back with another. This time around, you can earn more existing items like the Hollow Boot Pack, or Rebooted Breaker, and Wrap. Sure, you'll need to find another friend to bring back, but it'll be worth it for some really cool items. We could also see the return of Choppas, with Fortnite already teasing them around the map. Places like the Rescue Station have helipads, which could only mean one thing. Well, unless they made us again just like in Chapter 4. But at least we are missing the iconic teddy bears. It wouldn't be Fortnite without these guys hanging around, and now you can finally find them once again. As usual, they're in some pretty creepy places like sitting under a bridge or chilling in a warehouse. They're always lurking in the background somehow. You can also find fairy lights around the map, but this time, they're not just a decoration. Remember the ones at the soccer field? They are everywhere and have replaced some zip lines as a secret way to get around. It also turns out there's less loot for Christmas this year because chest rates have been heavily reduced. Reduced. Last season it was around 70%, but now it is all the way down to 50. So definitely expect to start looting your drop spot only to find the house is empty. I guess we'll have to rely on vaults. One place you won't get much loot is at Mielsa's RV. Sure, it's a blank spot, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan because it's actually the same RV from Chapter 4. He officially made it onto the new map. Though objects like porta potties and dumpsters did too, they have actually been reverted. You can't hide inside them anymore, making them boring props once again. But hey, at least we have sewers, which are even more gross, I guess. Why does everything we hide in have to involve trash and poop? And this wouldn't be a secrets video if I didn't bring up the best easter egg of all. When you eliminate Peter Griffin, he pulls off the funniest death animation in Fortnite history. Those are all the secrets and easter eggs in Fortnite Chapter 5. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.